Okay, well, well, let's go ahead and get started. So, one more episode of Cooking with Keto Mojo Gogo. And tonight, Shauna messed up and uh, let me loose in the kitchen. So, what am I making tonight? Well, I'm making some lamb chops. And Shauna is making some Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. And she's roasting them in some olive oil. Right. And the pan with it. Yep. And then she's going to uh, roast them in the oven for a bit. And as far as the lamb chops go, I'm going to kind of do a cheat sear. I'm going to cook them on the pan here for a while until they're about 80% done. And then broil them the rest of the way. So that's where we're at right now. Sorry, baby. Ah, no worries. So she's uh, dropping those in the oven right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and here we go. So that's it. And I'll show you what spices I'm currently using for the lamb jumps. I know it's kind of backwards so you can't see it. But we got roasted black garlic sea salt and some Moroccan spice, spice blend. We got both of these from the Spice and Tea Exchange, which is here locally. And they are nice additions to cooking with meat. And also we got, I'm using some Crazy Jane's mixed up salt. Using our new spice rack here. Pretty healthy. Nice little tool to have. Just got that yesterday. All right, so while that's going, uh, We'll have to let you know about some changes that I've, more changes I've made to our Facebook page. So I went ahead and added all the social media links are now on our uh, Keto so Mojo cool. Google Facebook page, which is different than our group page, but it's all linked together now. So you can find all of our stuff in one place. Um, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, cook our dog's food at the same time. So I think you might find that interesting as well. So our dogs are, you know, 100% carnivores. So they get pretty much all ground beef. So what's nice about these is, you know, it's a nice and pre-portioned for them, so we can cook up their dog food, you know, exactly as much as we want to give them. One's about 65 pounds. One's about, you know, just about 45 pounds. So they don't they get a bit. All together, they get about a pound and a half meat of meat each each day, separated over two meals. All right, it's so going now. All right, just as a reminder, um, this coming Sunday we're going to have our uh, coffee with Keto Mojo Gogo. And that will be uh, Eastern time, it'll be 12 noon. So if you're on the West Coast, that'll be 9 a.m. If you're in the Midwest, it'll be somewhere in between. So we, we do it at noon so that uh, you know everybody can be awake and kind of inclusive of the whole night United States. And um, I think we had one person saying they're gonna be watching us from Hawaii. So that, you know, that those guys are gonna you know, be getting up at six o'clock in the morning to watch us. Or, you know, so that's, that's impressive. Um, I don't even get up at six o'clock in the morning, so <laughs> not on the weekend, that's for sure. Um, all right, so that's searing away, cooking. So, at any rate, so what I would like to for you guys to do is, if you have any questions and you want us to, you know, address on, you know, the, the coffee with Kilo Mojo Go Go on Sundays, um, please email them to our email address at. Keto Mojo Go Go at gmail.com and that way I can uh, make sure I address them because sometimes the chat here on the um, you know, on Facebook and YouTube are kind of slow and it's hard to read those sometimes but so if you go ahead and preload your questions I'll definitely uh, do what we can to answer those the things that we're doing any tips and tricks and that also yeah, gives me a little time to if I don't know the answer I can maybe look it up for you um, let's see what else can we talk about here um, one thing that we've done recently, and we, we posted on our site, the food list, right? It is available for the things that you can think about. We actually have this now uh, laminated and put on our refrigerator. It's not a bad idea. 
Uh, it's, it's on our, it's on our uh, Facebook group page. Uh, you can see this is the one that's by, by Gokito with Casey. So it gives you a nice one meats, salads, poultry, uh, cheeses, you know, fats, things that are available, things that you shouldn't be eating, but you can use this to make a nice uh, shopping list. So when you want to go shopping, you can just go reference this and you'll have it available for your grocery list. So, I, you know, normal reminder I have to do is, uh, you know, how the ketogenic way of eating works. And notice I'm not saying diet because um, that's really a negative connotation in a lot of ways. A way of eating is, is a lifestyle change, not just a, you know, a temp temporary diet. But the ketogenic way of eating is we're eating 20 grams of carbs per day total not net total and eating things like you know fatty meat and cruciferous vegetables like say Brussels sprouts cauliflower broccoli spinach kale those type of things that are um, readily available so I mean we're getting plenty of vegetables we might eat more vegetables now in a ketogenic diet than we did in a regular diet so if you're just joining us again we're making uh, lamb chops and uh, Brussels sprouts and at the same time I'm cooking our dog's food which is ground beef and I um, am using some spices that I've got from the spice store which is basically some Moroccan spices and some uh, black sea salt and a little bit of mixed up crazy mixed up salt putting on there and I am uh, like I said doing kind of a, a, a cheap on there I'm doing cooking this about 80% through on the pan and then I'm gonna broil it at the end to just sear it so it's a cheap sear I guess I would call it and that is starting to smell really nice it's showing over there in the background uh, on, the, on the old laptop um, this one nice when you cook. yeah this is nice once in a while she lets me, lets me go nuts in the kitchen uh, one of the things is uh, we, did, we both went to the doctor last night in one kind of unusual situation. You know, I've, I wear glasses, obviously, mostly for distance. I'm sorry, not for distance, for up close. Distance-wise, I've been pretty good, but a little bit of slight adjustment in distance. But I um, went yesterday and got a new prescription, and actually my vision got better. So that's, I don't know if that's ever happened to anybody before, but... So four months on keto, and next thing you know, the vision's a little better. Kind of odd. I like it. I'm not sure if it's a, you know, because of that. Maybe. maybe. Blood sugar's down, so you know that high blood sugar does cause vision damage over time. So perhaps it's enough to start reversing that a little bit. Again, I'm still wearing them. If my, 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 you know, I'm still gonna have problems reading without them, because, uh, and that's that's a wear and tear thing, right? I'm looking at reading books and reading. Uh, close up text and looking at the computer screen for 40 hours a day, uh, it's going to take its tear, on, wear and tear on your, your lenses and make it hard to read up close. But, uh, but nonetheless, it's, it's, it's an improvement and pretty happy, except that it's going to cost like $300 to get new glasses because of a new prescription. Wait a minute, maybe this keto thing isn't sustainable. Hmm. I also have to buy new clothes. So I'm buying new clothes because my clothes are, I'm getting smaller and I don't fit my old clothes. So that's costing me money. No, I, I quit. No, I'm just kidding. It's good. It, it, this, this is a, this is a, it's a great thing. I mean, so we're saving money on groceries anyway. So we're spending on other things like, like clothes. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give this a little flip. Oh yeah, not a bad step. Show you how that looks there. Now I'm gonna put a little bit more seasoning on the other side. Uh, just cuts. And some more of that Moroccan seasoning and the roasted garlic, black garlic. Salmon.
And a little bit more seasoning salt. Mixed up salt. Now we happen to like lamb a lot. I mean, I actually like it better than steak, beef steak, because to me it's just, it's more tender, easier to eat, and I just love the flavor. I think it's, uh, I think it's fab fantastic as far as flavor goes. So that's going good. I'm going to go ahead and turn over our dog's food now. So we'll take that back down here. saying to yourself, man, there's a lot of fat in that, uh, in that hamburger, man. And you'd be right. There is a lot. It's 75, 25 ground beef that's in there. But we do use that, that, that grease. So some of it we'll give to our dogs so they can have some of the calories and some of the fat uh, because the fat's really good for, them, good for them. And the thing that we've noticed is their fur has gotten um, much better, much nicer. Uh, they're, they've hit their normal weight. Bam. You know, one, we have one that was a little bit overweight, one a little bit underweight, and they have right in the middle, and their weight is just, just perfect right now. So we give them a little bit of that fat, and then we set the other fat aside for cooking with, right? So that's another thing, we're not buying oils so much, right? We're using the meats, oils, or maybe bacon grease, or whatever fatty meat we can have, we find we save the oils and cook with those, cook our vegetables in them, etc. and it's very tasty. Now, in fact, one of the things I want to try very soon is making a uh, bacon oil or bacon grease mayonnaise, bacon -aise. So that should be uh, interesting in the list. I've already made some avocado oil mayonnaise, and that's that's better than anything you can buy in the store for sure. So bacon -aise. Hmm. Can't wait. Can't wait for that. Do you want to check your um, your, your Brussels sprouts? In? All right, so Sean's checking the Brussels sprouts now. Can you hand me a, you know, enough? Yeah, not quite yet. All right. Still cooking away. So like I said, um, We'll be doing that the live show on Sunday, the Coffee with Keto Mojo Go Go. Be sure and email your questions that you have. Let's 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 try to think about anything that we can um, talk about right now. How about you know, reasons that you haven't maybe started the ketogenic diet? Um, I mean, I know the holidays are here, right? So you're right in the middle of Christmas. You're right in the middle of all this, and then that's a hard time to start a new diet. And I get it, but um, I understand why you might want to wait until, say, January 1st. Um, but then again, I might say, well, you know, if you start now, that's less, that much less weight you got to lose. But if you don't want to start, you know, completely going keto right now, there are a lot of things you could do to, um, you know, kind of mitigate. And as a matter of fact, it might be a good time to start doing something now to get ready for it because. Say you decide on January 1st to jump right into keto, right? So it means, okay, well, I'm going to go right now and I'm only going to eat 20 carbs or 20 grams of carbs a day, no sugar, no grain, and I'm just going to go. Um, that's admirable, but I would also say that it might be a little bit, you know, it's a quick start. So we all, we recommend any way that you kind of step it down. So this could be a good time. So when I say step it down, it's like if you're drinking you know, three or four uh, sugary sodas a day, well, maybe stop that and drink water with lemon, okay? Maybe even some Splenda or something in the water. So the idea is to step down your carbs. A lot of people are eating, like, let's say, 400 grams of carbs every day. If you go from 400 to 20 immediately, don't think your body's not going to react, right? I mean, it's used to getting those easy sugars. So there's some things you might want to think about in the meantime that you can do that might get you closer to that. Um, you might do things like, you know, say you're eating uh, pasta every day and rice. Cut those out and eat just, um, you know, vegetables. Even if it's starchy vegetables, just, just start moving your way away from 
you know, eating a bowl of cereal at night and all this. And just be very conscious of what your carbs are, and then you can start getting an idea of moving towards a ketogenic diet without actually going there right away. In some ways, that's actually better because you are preparing your body for the change. You're not just jumping right to it. You might uh, not have such a, a, you know, adverse reaction as some people who have uh, jumped, jumped right there from a, set, a standard American diet, SAD, SAD, standard American diet. You might actually benefit from that more by stepping in slowly or in a, in a regulated fashion. Eat again here, see how it's going. Get a little nice and bloody, looks good. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's looking pretty good, huh? Pretty delicious. Okay, so what else can we talk about? We can talk about the affordability of being on the ketogenic diet. So that's one of the things that people will talk about a lot and say, oh man, that's, I can't afford to eat you know, ribeye steaks all the time. I can't afford to eat um, uh, you know, all, all meat and all this all the time and high-priced vegetables. Um, I would then counter with, how much does a box of cereal cost? How much does a 12-pack uh, case of sodas cost? How, you know, how much does a bag of chips cost? $3? So if you think about in those cases where you're buying these processed foods, these sugary foods as filler, you know, to kind of get you through, um, I, would, I would counter and say that is costing you more than buying inexpensive meat. Because most of the meat we eat, this is being the exception, we're eating some lamb chops because they're delicious. But we're not going out and eating, so I think it's a wash. Maybe better than a wash. We eat a lot of ground beef, we eat a lot of chicken, and those are the type of things that they, they cost very little, and you're probably eating some of that stuff anyway. Matter of fact, Sean had a point, you know, you're buying some hamburger and you're buying Hamburger Helper. Hamburger Helper costs $3 a box, guess what you don't need to buy the Hamburger Helper? Just eat the hamburger. Um, in this case, we're having Brussels sprouts. Maybe you don't like Brussels sprouts. Maybe you don't like cauliflower, I believe there's a, you know, Teresa's husband doesn't like cauliflower. I think there's ways we could make, we could help you make it taste better, but the point is you don't have to eat the cauliflower if you don't like it. Just eat the meat. Um, there's a lot of uh, keto people that do that, that you know, cycle ketovore and carnivore, including ourselves. We'll, we'll probably be carnivore three days a week, not eat any vegetables, because you don't have to. Um, but there, you can. It doesn't, it doesn't, uh, it hurt I mean, if, you, if you feel like you need the fiber, eat the vegetables. Um, and that's okay. The, the point is, what makes this work is that you're keeping your carbohydrates, your total carbohydrates, to 20 grams or less. That, and if you eat um, you know, fatty enough food, um, your body will then shift modes. It's, once you have those carbs out of your liver, it's going to go into keto ketosis and you're going to start burning fat. One thing that people will say, well, if the ketogenic diet is a uh, weight loss diet, that's kind of true, but in reality, it's a fat burning diet. That's what you're, you're change, training your, uh, your body to do is shift it from burning sugar slash carbs as fuel, and then you um, change that over to burning fat as fuel. And if you don't have, you're not eating way too much fat, you're just the right amount, it's going to use a little bit of that, like a Kickstarter, and it's going to use your body fat as fuel, and that's going to start burning off. And that's where we've been successful in a very short period of time. It's not that we're just, just losing weight or water weight, we're actually burning fat and it's disappearing. So that's kind of the beautiful thing of this. All right, oh, hey, can you get me a... Uh or something to put this on so I can boil it. I think we're almost there. The dog, dog food is done. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Yeah. I did get the last, the last two chops. Actually, one's a steak, a lamb steak, and the other one's a lamb shoulder chop. 
Yeah. The last two they had at Walmart last night. Uh, and yeah. I didn't get it. Come on, Sean, let's get in there. Brussels sprouts out. No, I'm in the pan. Take it out. Caramelizing those uh, Brussels sprouts. Mm. Let's see if we can get a look at that here. Mm. Yeah, this is only. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I grew up not liking Brussels sprouts. Um, <laughs> now I love them. But that's only because we, we learned to cook them this way. Right? I mean, this is, Don't touch that pan over there. Don't touch it. Protecting my safety. I'm such a mom. Okay. Yeah, but I, before I, I, I just, I really didn't like Brussels sprouts. All right, I'm gonna put Maybe about a year ago that we I had them somewhere where they were cooked like this. Are you gonna boil up on the top? You right? mm -hmm. won't take very long because it's right on the top. Unless yep. you want me to move nope, it down. It's fine. Okay. 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 Let's see. We're right, getting ready to broil these now. Let's see. Alright, this is going to be fantastic. So we're shifting those from the fry pan on top, and we're going to broil them for just a few minutes. In the oven, we're going to give them a nice little sear. And these are going to be fantastic. Um, and as you can see, our dog's food is ready. Yep, our dogs are pretty spoiled. So, that's their ground beef. Alright, so that's, I think that's going to be about it. So we, we're making our lamb chops, doing a nice little sear on them, and the Brussels sprouts. And we talked about a few things. We talked about um, Sunday, our um, Coffee with Keto Mojo Go Go coming up. Be sure and email us at ketomojogogo at gmail.com with any questions you might have. Um, we talked about um, why you have, maybe haven't started a ketogenic diet yet, what some good ideas might be to help you prepare to get there. And um, I think that's about it. Anything else that you can think of? All right, well, thanks, guys. And you guys have a great evening, and uh, we'll see you next time. You're not going to show them this here? Oh, when well, it comes out? I guess I could, but I mean, they know what to do. Okay. Yeah, yeah. that's good. All right. Take care, guys. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.